All right, a quick update. Let's talk about Egypt and Tutankhamun. Italian researchers will begin a fresh investigation onto the Boys King's resting place with what they hope they'll find a discovery of this century before March. This is coming up and they're looking for the secrets of King Tutankhamun's tomb. They're saying it will be laid bare as scientists resume the hunt for the fabled hidden chamber this month. Who knows what we might find as we scan the ground? Franco Purcelli, the project manager director, told basically everybody around the world that it will be a rigorous scientific work and will last several days if not weeks. The tomb was first discovered by British archaeologist Howard Carter in Egypt's Valley of the Kings in November 1922. Tutankhamun is believed to have died before his burial chamber was built and buried in a rush. The golden sarcophagus of the King Tutankhamun is buried in the chamber as seen in the Valley of the Kings in the Luxor, Egypt. Take a look at these incredible photographs. The expedition is part of a wider mapping project to capture the burial tombs in the Luxor, Egypt. The researchers said the finding provided insight into the Egyptians' use of the term iron of the sky. Now, what do they mean? Iron of the sky. This Definitely, in my opinion, once they get in there, they could discover, as they've probably discovered before, and they're not telling us, extraterrestrial relics hidden from Earth and the humans for probably over 10 to 30,000, maybe even 50,000 years ago. How long do you think the pyramids have been around? People, I want to get your opinions. Now, Carter's patron, Lord Carnivon died weeks after the tomb was opened, fueling supernatural rumors. Carnivon, who funded Carter's expeditions, was believed to be the victim of a curse inscribed on the Pharaoh's tomb, which claimed anyone who disturbed it would be visited by the wings of death. Now, let me tell you this. Wings of death, it sounds like they're describing a, some kind of UFO, a fighter out there, extraterrestrial, something from above, again, they had extraterrestrial help, in my opinion. Again, what is yours? But some believe the burial site contains a secret room and the final resting place of the boy's king's stepmother, Queen Nefertiti. Persili, a professor of the physics of the Polytechnic University in Turin, said that his team's mission will be the final investigation, which will provide an answer which is 99% Definitive, the team will use a bevy of high-tech radar systems to detect the underground architecture and spot any anomalies in between the tomb walls. Doubts have been cast over the existence of this missing chamber. Nicholas Reeves, a British Egyptologist at the University of Arizona, first claimed to have spotted a secret room back in 2015. Now, what will be the discovery? We're going to find out coming up next month and stay tuned to Third Phase Moon for more updates in regards to the hidden secrets in the Pharaoh's tomb of Tutankhamun. Now, let's get to this. More insight coming in, and I think this is quite astonishing. This happened back in the day. Winston Churchill, a major story breaking right now, Third Phase of Moon. Winston Churchill's alien obsession as prime minister said, we are not alone. Winston Churchill had a secret obsession and he was convinced that there was life on Mars and Venus. Why would he say that? The cigar chomping politician muses in the newly discovered article about the possibility of life on Mars and Venus. He makes scientific predictions nearly 50 years before their time as he theorizes about life on other planets. Churchill also concluded that due to their distance from the sun, Mars and Venus, we are the only two places in the solar system other than Earth that could conceivably harbor life. His alien essay was never published and it ended up on the U.S. National Churchill Museum in the 1980s where it remained undiscovered. 
Scientists continue to probe life on Mars and Venus, and to this day, NASA has yet to tell us, the people, that there's life out there. They've discovered it, but they're not telling us the secrets. Winston Churchill sure believed that there was life up there. As he states, I'm not prepared to think we are the only spot in this immense universe which contains living, thinking creatures. He was the first prime minister to hire a scientific advisor in the 1920s and 30s and wrote a number of popular science essays for newspapers and magazines on topics such as evolution and cells. Churchill's interest in the UFOs went as far as ordering secret police probes into mysterious airships. Winston Churchill's newly discovered essay was looking through astrophysicist Mario Levio, who praised Churchill's understanding of science. Dr. Levio added, at a time when a number of today's politicians shun science, I find it moving to recall a leader who engaged with it so profoundly. So why did Winston Churchill believe in life on Mars and Venus? Did he have insight that we're not aware of? He hired scientists to engage into the question, if we are not alone in the universe, what is going on out there? Have we been visited? I want to get your opinions below of what was inside Winston Churchill's head. What do you guys think? Did he know something we didn't? Blake Cousins, everybody, keep your eyes on the skies. We're not alone.